What's up, YouTube my team and True Ballers? It's your boy the Ball and Jeremiah, and I'm back at you again with another video. This is gonna be another one of those motivational videos, just a kind of continuation of the previous episode that I discussed on never giving up. But I just want to go a little bit more in depth on that quote. As you guys can see, I'm still wearing my brand new suit. This is the first time wearing this suit. It was a gift from my family when I was on vacation. And I was, I was going to try it on today for church. And I uh, hope you, I mean, what do you guys think? I look pretty cool, huh? Look nice, don't I? But anyway, um, there was a topic that my pastor was talking about today. And uh, it related to um, two different scriptures. And one of them was, of course, the most common one, which is why I can do all things that Christ strengthens me. And that's probably the most popular scripture in the Bible, and it's probably the most useful for anybody. And honestly, I say that scripture basically determines what your level is on how bad you want to be successful in life. So having that mentality of never giving up and having that scripture in as in your mind as well as all the other scriptures in the bible if you read the bible i mean i think that's just really important because there's a lot of people out here and this is a fact there's a lot of people that doubt themselves but when it says in the bible that you could do all things and you're doubting yourself the only person that that's doubting yourself is yourself it's that simple i mean if you got the word saying that you could do all things that means the impossible can happen. You can make the impossible be possible. Matter of fact, I'll even put it like this. You look at the word impossible. If you split the M and possible, you got I'm possible. See what I'm saying? You want to make things possible in your life. Don't make them impossible. Don't hold yourself back. Now, I'm, only, I'm not saying this from a uh, spiritual standpoint because I'm not trying to preach or anything. I'm just only to encourage people. That's my job when it comes to doing this series. I'm here to encourage people. So keep in mind that if you can make things possible, then it's harder to give up. And that's a fact. If you feel like you can do anything in this world that you can be successful on and you do it, you make your commitments, you make things happen, you will see results. It doesn't matter what kind of results you are. I mean, there's an old saying, results are not typical, but you'll get results. And that's a fact. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can use it. Like, if you're if you're an entrepreneur like me, for instance, sure, you might see one guy make two grand a week on entrepreneur, but then you'll have those guys that make only 100 a week or not making any money. Or then you got guys that makes 300 a year just on entrepreneur. And then you got guys that makes 20,000 a year. I mean, numbers are not typical when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, even basketball players. You look at LeBron James, for instance. If you guys watch the NBA Finals like I have, he was ranked number one in a lot of um, stats. Like, he was number one in points, rebounds, steals, blocks, etc. But then you gotta realize, all those other times that he played in the Finals, he didn't rank number one in all the categories. But then you look at other guys that made it to the finals over the years. Kobe Bryant. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of times when he played in the NBA Finals, he wasn't ranked number one in a lot of categories. But they still, but he still won championships. So it doesn't really matter what your results are as long as you got that mindset of making things possible and not giving up. So consider this as continuation of never giving up. But I'm going to put in the title, as you guys see, I'm possible. I mean, you got to have that mindset. If you feel like that you are making things possible and you're making things happen and you have the, the attitude of saying, hey, I can do this. I believe in this. You can do anything you can do. You can do anything you want in this world, and that's a fact. I mean, you guys look at me. If you guys stay on my videos, you stay on my social media accounts, you guys noticed in the, ever since I started doing entrepreneur, I don't put in negative stuff anymore like I used to. I mean, I put so much negative stuff before I did all this, it was ridiculous. But then I turned around and realized that what is this, what is that negative stuff put me in? It's put me at the bottom of the hill. If I want to be in the top of the hill, I cannot be doing the things that I did. So sometimes you got to make an adjustment in your life just to get the results you want. And I made, I've made quite a few adjustments in the past few months. I mean, all 2016, I've made a lot of changes. And honestly, 
a lot of it's paid off, and it really is. I mean, I'm doing so well in my business. I mean, I'm getting at least three sales a week. They're not the same amount every time, but hey, what are you gonna do? You know, I even got I even got a strategy in my business where I can make profits every day if I wanted to make the commitment every day. But I mean, it's just side work, so I don't do it all the time. But it's it's a good it's good for me because you know sometimes I may not have money in my account and I'm like okay I need to make some money so I'll just do my business make some money on the side with the business and then I just take what I got and get what I earn you know like you gotta you always gotta make a plan make a plan create a strategy execute the strategy and then evolve it with your people I mean, if you got people under you that that's trying to build a business like you are give them the similar strategies that you have because usually strategies work when more than one more than one person is working on that same strategy because sometimes you'll see you'll see how other people can get the same or similar success that you got based on how much commitment they make and how much they're willing to to commit to the business or whatever else i mean this is just an example so keep this in mind like even if you're a doctor and you're trying to, you know, learn more about taking care of a patient. I mean, there might be a situation you may forget or you might not be sure what to do. Then you always can turn to somebody else that knows, that is experienced, that has the same, that's in the same uh, work position as you are, maybe even better or, or, or retired. You know, like it's always good to have somebody that is experienced to help you out. I mean, that's, that's the only reason why I'm doing so well in my business is because I have people that I can turn to to talk to if I have any questions so keep in mind if you guys are struggling with something and you need help with talk to the people that knows what they're doing so like like with me for instance if you want tips on basketball because I do train basketball players like if you want if you guys want drills if you guys want motivation to encourage to be more encouraged on being better as a basketball player I'll hook you up with any drill that will help you that's helped me because I'm experienced. I've used drills that, and it's gotten me much successful. I mean, I tell you stories about that in the past videos, but I can tell you, I mean, I got an example for you right now. I got three drills I do every day, and these th three drills helps my ball handling so much. I mean, I wish I had my ball handling moves that I had back then instead of now, because I probably would be unbelievable now, but I don't think about that stuff. I think about what I have now and then moving forward. So you never want to look back on your past. Never look back on situations, no matter how good or how bad it was, because you can always do better than what you had. So you want to keep on progressing upwards. And if you might go downhill, that doesn't mean you keep going downhill forever. You want to go up. So that's where the I'm possible kicks in instead of impossible. So you got I'm possible versus impossible. So if you have that I'm possible mindset, along with the never given up mindset from the previous episode, believe me. You're already two steps away from building your long-term, short-term goals, whatever you have that you want to accomplish in life. So I hope that encouraged everybody on this blessed Sunday. Really nice weather after the rain we had in this town and then the humans kicked in and now, the, now it's really beautiful outside. So I hope everybody has a blessed Sunday. Like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, do what you got to do. Get connected with me on my social media accounts. All the information is in the description. Check out the links related to my business so that you can be successful like I am. And this is only the beginning on all this. My business, training, videos. This is just the beginning. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on going just for you guys to help you guys be successful mentally, physically, financially, whatever it is that I am experienced in knowing that can help you. So if you guys might ask me a question or something, I'm not sure. I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure. You probably have to talk to somebody else. But if it's something I know that you need help with, I'll help you out. And that's a promise. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my weekend. I hope everybody else enjoys y'all weekend as well. Take care. God bless. Ball and J Money's out. Peace.